Picture this. You're intensely jogging and listening to music. You're in the zone, ready to burn calories. Get those six-pack abs for the summertime honeys. Then, the next song plays. Bam! Rebecca Black's Friday is ruining your groove. You skip to the next song, and bam! Fever Fever slows you down again. Well, my friends, this is where MP Sense comes to save you. Current music players are dumb. Group Charmander has developed an Android application that senses how fast you're jogging and plays the song accordingly. How does this all work? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, where do we begin? Well, you should add some songs to your playlist. Our app scans the songs on your SD card and lists them out for you. Notice that each song has a beats per minute label associated with it, and the BPM label, well, it's color-coded. Green being low intensity, yellow medium intensity, and red high intensity. We give you the ability to sort your list by artists, beats per minute, or title. Now to add songs, really simple, just click on them. You can scroll through, find what you like. Now what if the mp3 file does not have a BPM tag associated with it, like in this case? Well, the user just simply has to click it and then our app allows the user to rate it himself or herself. And that's it. That's how you make a playlist. So to make MP Sense effective in correlating your activity level with various songs, we need to calibrate because my medium intensity level could be your high intensity level. Our app accommodates where different users place the device, whether you strap it onto your arm, hold it, or put it into your pocket. For example, how the device detects the steps per minute will be different if you're holding it or if you have it in your pocket, even if you're running at the same speed. Now, calibration is a three-step process. It's fairly simple. During calibration, we'll play songs with low, medium, and high BPM, and have you jog to them in order to determine the different thresholds and changing from one intensity level to another. So now we'll showcase the most interesting part of our application, and we'll show it to you in action. So to begin, I'm going to press start, and I'll play a song in the low intensity level. So there I simulated a few steps. Notice steps per minute is zero, and that's because we don't have enough data. So now I'm going to slowly jog to the song, gradually increasing the speed. And once I increase the speed, you'll notice a change. Alright, so now I just changed to a song of me medium intensity. I clocked in at 153 steps per minute. So now I'm going to simulate slowing down. Alright, I just took a few more steps. My steps per minute has decreased. Notice that the player didn't just go back to the song of low intensity. And we allow users to define the interval between going from one song to another. Otherwise, it'd be annoying if it went back and forth. So let's say I want to stay at this medium intensity. I'm going to press this lock. And it's going to only play songs at this intensity. And notice, no matter how I move, it's not going to record any more steps. Let's say while you're jogging to this song, you want it to be played at a different activity level. That's really simple. You just have to press this button right here. Oh, whoops. See that? It says you need to press longer. Alright, so G6. I think this song is way too intense for me, so I'm going to rate it Cheetah. And notice, it changes to a song, another song in the medium intensity level. Through user feedback, our app has evolved a lot. A major thing we learned was that it was annoying to manually add and rate songs. In fact, I can remember those days. So let's say I pick this song to be in my playlist. I give it a check, and as you can see, it asks you to choose the intensity level. And for this song, I would choose low intensity. Ugh. Our solution initially to this was to auto-rate songs by detecting their BPM. However, this was difficult to do because algorithms for detecting BPMs on the fly were pretty slow and messy to implement. Our solution to this was to read off the BPM ID3 tag found in MP3 files. So ladies and gentlemen, we hope you'll spend a few cents on MP Sense. Thank you.